Well, here we are at the moment on, on Yeshua's property. Uh, we're trying to um, repair and restore the dams that, that were, that's been created. Uh, it's left a lot of left a lot of uh, bare soil, which is, is showing signs of erosion. Um, as the, as the, and the more rain we get, the faster it runs down the hill, the bigger the erosion. Um, there's a we had an example down the bottom where um, a gully had started to be created. So um, we we hopefully um, repaired that with a leaky swale. And, and but what we're doing it from the top, we create swales to to catch the rainwater to slow it down. And we're doing it in a fishtail pattern, so that as as one fills up, it filters into the next one, and it just slows the whole process of the water. So it's almost to a to a trickle. Um, therefore, you you don't get the erosion that accompanies a, a normal storm. As the water enters into the to the swale that we've created, um, the water will slowly absorb into the soil and filter down through as well as run off of each side. If there's, a, if there's a deluge of water, it'll fill it up and run off the sides and the next swale will catch it. If there's a, a shower, it will sit in the bottom of the swale and, and gradually, like a sponge, the, the soil will, will absorb that water and that, ho that will happen then down the whole process of the, um, down into the creek. So that the whole area becomes eventually will become um, will have water sitting in it which then allows life to to be generated all along that that particular area um, we we plant this the swales to, to one to bind the soil together but also uh, to create habitat for, for birds for, for any wildlife it's a safe area they can come and drink without uh, fear um, it, it as I said before it binds the soil together to stop any further erosion um, and it produces its own mulch so we don't have to keep putting straw on or hay uh, and um, it, we've done it in a fishtail pattern so that it actually as it goes down the hill it's it feeds in and out at the moment we're because, because we're working with so many people and, um, and once a week at the moment, we're, the work that we do, we don't want to leave the soil unprotected, so we mulch it to protect the soil so that doesn't erode, and then we come back and plant it um, a week, two weeks, whatever, how it, when we've got the time and the plants to, to do it. Um, <clears throat> The, the, swales on the, the swales on the dam are created in more of a bathtub profile to catch, to catch the water that comes there. The, the, the back of the swale is uh, roughly level with the, the front, so there's a bathtub effect. And then we plant the back of the swale where the, the soil is loose. That is where the water will be absorbed into. And again, the edges, there's a... There's a um, a, a runoff area so that the water will run away and it will be caught by the next swale down in the line. Once they've been planted it will be remulched and the, the, the mulch will break down and we'll have a beautiful soil base in that area that the plants can feed from and more grasses and, and other, other plants will just naturally occur. The seeds that are already in the soil will will germinate and uh, that will enhance the whole area. Um, the main, the main <coughs> thing that, um, that we need to do though while we're, while we're do in this process is to connect to our own emotions, to be really connected to the soil, to feel um, To feel our, to feel that connection and, and and love what we're doing, and 
at any time if it feels hard work if it, then it's an emotion within us because this should be just a, a joyful joyful work it should be you know, we should be really um, be able to do it without any effort um, and put lots of love into it so um, <coughs> each of the, the stakes that are that are planted is, is is usually the center of a of a previous swale and as as it le as as the outflow from the previous swale a new rain comes in it'll leak out of that swale and then it'll flow into the next one the the these these swales here as they leak at, as as, the, as these eventually have a, an area through here that it'll leak out into that swale there, which just, so the water's only got a, maybe a metre to travel, very slow, and it'll fill up the next swale. Each, each one of these, they can vary in size, in length, in, um, in depth. It, the further down the hill we go, the, the more water that will actually be collected by each swale so we make them just maybe that little bit deeper as we come down the hill the, the, cru the crucial thing for us to do is to is to is to have what we've dug out to be kept loose not to be um, compacted at all so the water can permeate through and also so the so the level is is roughly from the start from where it's dug out so you've got a It'll capture the water in there and filter down through here yeah, on, the, on, the, on the basis. When we've, when we've finished this swale, we'll put in mulch up to the level of the, of the soil. So, and as that breaks down, that will become new soil. It'll let, so that plants, but any planting then will, either, will be done on the, on the back where the soil's loose. And again, the water will hydrate up to those plants. We'll, um, as like on the on the top of the dam, we put grasses on the on the very top. That is the initial filter, and it will spread over the wall of the dam. We, we don't want to put um, we don't want to put trees with deep roots on the top because it will might break the integrity of the dam. If you can imagine the, the roots of a you know a big tree, uh, as it grows, it expands and then it could break the wall by allowing the water to travel along the line of the roots and we could lose the whole dam. Up the very top we put ground cover and, um, and grasses mainly and then as we progress down the hill we put slightly bigger ones. We've gone from um, ground cover to one meter then two meter three meter and, and on the bush line we can put really big trees that that can grow you know, 20 or 30 meters if we want because they're far enough away from the, the dam but they'll be fed by the water and the nutrients that are flowing down through the through the, uh, the, the repaired dam wall. Once we slow the water down, once we've mulched it, once we've planted it then the wall then can become, it will become alive and it will look after itself then.